This is a terrible 1998 Jeep Grand Cherokee that the motor developed in the 70s. But this one is mine, and I think it's fantastic. And people have asked me on the Facebooks and the Instagrams, on the ZJ Club pages, about it and all that fun stuff. So, as things will be added to this, I thought I'd make some kind of video series regarding how it was built and all that fun stuff. So, come a bit closer. I will show a picture right here of what it looked like when I procured it, which is terrible and small on JL wheels for some reason. But currently it sits on these minty fresh 35 inch Nitto trail grapplers, and they are wrapped around Pro Comp beadlock wheels. Excellent wheels. I like them. They look good. They're lightweight. And Nittos are the best tire you can buy on earth. Underneath the vehicle, as you can see through here, is a very, very, very low quality Rough Country four and a half inch long arm lift kit. This was installed once again by the previous owner. Many things are wrong with this lift kit because it was designed very cheaply and poorly. Many parts have been replaced since I've had it. You saw the picture of what it was when I bought it. It had the kit, it had some crappy tires on it. Since then, I've added a Rubicon Express track bar. The steering needs to be changed out. The steering gear is puking more than Lindsay Lohan on a Saturday night. And in the back, we have many improvements though. In the back, this is a V8 Grand Cherokee. Solid. Kind of than hedge cracking. But in the back, instead of the Dana 44A, which it came on this vehicle, is a Ford 8.8 rear end, which is still not great, but it's better than what came on it. It has a steel center section versus aluminum, and aluminum is reserved for communists and bastards. And in the middle, rather than the terrible 249 with clutches and all that nonsense you don't want, we have the excellent chain-driven 231 NV transfer case which is leaking, but that's a minor detail. And also, something that's worth more than this entire vehicle is the Terraflex SYE Super Shorty SYE Eliminator. It's great. So, hopefully, as this vehicle grows up, it'll get much, much better. The tires required much trimming, which I've done on camera. It doesn't look nearly as bad as it actually is in reality, but many things will be added to this vehicle. It will do many trails, and I'll show you all of that, maybe. Thank you.